Hi everyone, welcome back to Greybeard Media. It's Friday the 25th of October 2024. Back at Anfield Road for another update on the expansion progress. You can see there's a jet washer out on Furbystone. So, does this mean, you can see it's a bit wet patch over there. Does this mean they're in the closing phase? I think they are, you know. I think the last few stones are just over there. There's like a one, two, three, four, five at least counted to be installed. A little truck over there with some materials on. I'm not sure if they're going to be needed for the expansion and the closing stages. You can see that one stone underneath there, how damaged it is. He's got the new one on top. Yeah. We'll get the train up also. Um, the wind's playing a bit havoc with the, the barrier. It's blown them all over the place. <laughs> but I will try and fly. I'm going to have a check in on that last bit of cladding. I also want to see what the hell's going on with that um, wheelchair platform. Is it. Is it getting changed back into tier section or seating? Or is it just getting pulled up, jobs going on, maintenance going on, and then putting back to a wheelchair platform? I'm not sure what's going on. CPA review, even though he used his bigger drone and that camera, that wasn't 100% clear what was going on either. So we both said we're going to keep an eye on it. And maybe we'll find out today, maybe not. If you like what you see, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe. See you after the intro all. I'm just going to start off by the purple stones, the last few, there's five here and there's a couple more to go in after and then they're done. I'm just going to jet wash down. So, just a quick close up, there's the holes where the new stones are going to go. They're going to have to put a little bit of, um, I don't know, like covering in first and then the stone on top. So you've got Robin and Ellie with love mom, mom and dad. That one is in memory of Heather Cordwell, 1974, 2016, who never walk alone. That one is John Ellis, who never walk alone, hero and legend, forever missed. A bit of damage on that, but I think those marks are just so they can get it up. Just two stones together going in there. LFC, Clara Andrews, and Jim Fitzpatrick, 2609-1952. So this is the final and the finishing stages of the process. There's Tom O'Neill, Cork in Ireland, you never walk alone. And that's how it's looking, over to Berber Stones. And my next, uh, my next match day vlog will be Liverpool v Bayern Leverkusen. So I'll be there, I'm hoping to interview some German fans. I'm asking questions about Lavi Alonso and all the various things really but yeah that'll be the next one to look out for there. I think um, Arsenal away Sunday. We've got a great chance for three points there with Arsenal picking up injuries. Um, hopefully we can take advantage of that and keep, keep our form and keep as close to the top of the league as possible if not top of the league. It's great to see us doing so well in the Champions League. Well, all the English teams, Villa, Liverpool, and of course, Manchester City. So yeah, Leverkusen is going to be a big one with Xavier Lanzo returning to Anfield. I'm sure he'll get a massive round of applause off the crowd. You know, we absolutely adored him when he was here at Anfield, didn't we? And I was there in the middle of the cop. I was probably in the middle of the cop for a good decade watching players like Alonso and uh, yeah Suarez 
I do miss those days to be fair but since I moved to Liverpool I just find it impossible to get tickets. Um, it was so easy when I was back in Shropshire being part of the supporters club. I had so many credits I could go to all the away games I wanted. Wembley was never a problem either but now since I settled down in Liverpool with the family it's next to impossible. But I don't mind being at the ground or watching in the pubs. You know, it is what it is. So. Going to see what that guy's up to, shall we? He's putting another further stone in. Obviously, he's putting that mixture on top first, and then it'll fix the further stone. In. We're wagging over there and the forklift going. Let's have a quick gander. But yeah, we're going to fly. There's a bit of a wind tunnel going on around the ground. That's why it feels more rougher than it actually is. It's perfectly safe to fly a drone. I'm not expecting too much to be seen, um, especially with the cladding. Like I said, that was the last small sections to be done. So hopefully they will have started it by now. And the main question is that platform that got ripped up the, the wheelchair access point. What's happening with that area? None of us are the wiser. Like I said, hopefully we'll find out some clues today. So, without further ado, let's get the drone up. Welcome back everyone, we are airborne, so we're going to climb. There was a hell of a wind tunnel going on around the, around the ground there. So that's why it seemed a lot more windy than it did. We're going to get in position and start going in. You see there, all the, all the lighting is now in the ground. So, so the pitch is getting its full treatment. And we'll into position. Um, as you can see already by that little bit of cladding, there's nothing going on really, but doesn't mean like it's not going to get started on today or, or next week or whenever. So there's a crest on the main stand, it's underneath, so should I know, should have remembered that when I worked there for two seasons in front of the main stand, but there you go. See if there's anyone on the roof by the SKD stand. Uh, but all the ropes have gone now, so that is an indication that that is the final section now. You know what? I am more leaning towards tier sections going in, you know. To me, that is another tier section step seats to go on. I wasn't 100 percent sure if I was right, you know. The flap uh the flap section that was on the edge there, that was an indication that it was a flat area has been taken off. So I'm guessing this is gonna be turned into seating. So maybe I was right. I wasn't 100 percent certain I know CPA review did a video the very next morning came down and I even started doubting myself but 
I don't know how many seats it's going to generate. Um, is that guy preparing cladding down there? That is quite a big sheet, that is, to be honest. So I wonder where that's going to go then, because all the underneath section is done. So I, will, I, will, I mean, some of the fans let me know, um, and I did see when I was watching the game, um, it was all pretty much done except that one strip. So uh, I know this is Anfield was trying to say that the segregation was the reason why we would lost so much um, capacity. And I thought, what a complete load of nonsense. That segregation takes up all the seating area, does it? The why we're missing so much. What a complete load of nonsense that is. Absolute bollocks. There's a bigger reason than that why we're why we're not or we're not reaching the full capacity of the stand of over sixty one thousand, and it's not because of that either. That only covers so many seats, and it's not nowhere near a thousand or seven hundred or even five hundred. So, I'm not I'm not this is Anfield's biggest supporter or fan because, you know, they think they're in bed with the LFC and all this stuff they say is. 100% kosher. That goes to show it isn't 100% kosher. So yeah, I think we're still waiting on that cladding at the end. Um, that sh that sheet has got to be for that that final strip. It's got to be. But I'm not seeing any ropes or anything now dangling or nothing. So where's all the ropes gone? Because if they're preparing that cladding, unless that's for something else. But I'm more convinced now, returning today and saying we're going to have seats there all the way along. It's not going to be returned back to wheelchair access. That second section going in at the top is another step, but seats will probably go on to. So, yeah, I'm glad I came back out now. I wasn't going to do one today, but it was just bugging me. I was doubting myself after seeing CPO Bree's um, video and even the close-up camera view wasn't 100% certain. So, and the flat section where that guy in the yellow is standing right there is coming straight across and I was wondering if it's still going to remain flat and that's, all, that's pretty much gone now, isn't it? You know what? I really don't know. I'm still in two minds. It looks like a step, but... I'm going to be waiting for CPO views next video because I'm not certain. I'm really not, but... I'm very interested to find out. And they're all inside, so I can't ask anybody whether it's getting changed back into seating. For, to, you know... I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'll be back Sunday. Um, as I said, the Forever Stones is into its final few stones. There's like five you probably saw before the intro. And I did ask the guy, is this the final few? And he said, yes. There's a couple more just after, and then they're done. Final thing to be done on the Forever Stones then will be the jet wash. It looks like they've tried it out at the top there. So the Forever Stone restoration and the stone replacements is probably into its last day. So even though it's playing havoc with the boundary and blowing all the barriers around, it was only 90 mile an hour wind, so I knew it was perfectly okay for me to fly. It was just causing a bit of havoc down there with the wind tunnel and all that. But the stones that get replaced I guess the ones who got one is the lucky ones, but ideally, really, there's a lot more that could have easily been replaced, to be fair. I just wonder what that was on the SKD stand roof. I'm not sure, to be fair. Don't know what he's preparing down there, but is that really cladding? It's a massive piece. I've got more questions and answers on this on this um, on this um, update. 
Well, I think we're going to wrap that one up all. Um, yeah, we're going to come back Sunday, see how much, and we'll be back to cover this till the very end. Like, share, subscribe, push me, please, or I need more support on this. Um, trying to grow the channel even bigger. Got a lot more LFC content coming. I'm off for a week in November, so I'm going to be here most days doing different various topics. Enjoy the rest of your day in the world. If it's nighttime, daytime. Bye for now all. Take care.